This is Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 24, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up 1.25 points or 0.3% to 414.46. Even so, trading volume was lower than yesterday, with only 89,627 shares changing hands at a trading value of over 509.5 million Khmer real or over 124,000 US dollars. On the main board, not a single stock saw a percentage loss. Pestec Cambodia PLC was the percentage rise winner, up 2.29% or 50 real per share to 2,230 real per share, followed by the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, which was up by 1.37% or 100 real per share to 7,380 real per share. Akleda Bank, Sienegville Autonomous Port, and the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port also saw their stock prices increase, while the rest of the board remained flat. Akleda Bank once again remained the top trading contributor to the market, with 44,684 shares changing hands at a total trade value of roughly 83,000 US dollars or 339.6 million Khmer real. The company with the second highest trade volume was the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, with 12,478 shares trading hands at a total trade value of 22,421 US dollars or 91.6 million Khmer real. The Sienegville Autonomous Port saw the lowest shares traded, with only 70 shares changing hands. Meanwhile, on the growth board, both DBD Engineering and JS Land saw no change. In other market news, the Cambodia Securities Exchange published a press release announcing zero commissions on all stock purchases during the 2024 dividend distribution season. According to the press release from May 27 to June 28, investors can purchase any stocks listed on the CSX without incurring any fees through any brokerage firms that are members of the CSX. The exchange affirms that the decision to introduce 0% fees for this limited amount of time reflects a dedication to putting investors first and providing them with tools and resources to achieve their financial goals. So remember to purchase any stocks on the CSX from May 27 to June 28 to benefit from 0% fees. Khmer Real to USD still remained the same at 4077 while the US dollar index fell slightly to 105. In commodities, oil prices were stable on Friday, with Brent crude futures rising 5 cents to 81.41 US dollars a barrel. Gold prices reached a two-week low, setting the stage for their most significant weekly decline in nearly eight months. Spot gold hovered at 2,330.19 US dollars per ounce after previously dipping to its lowest since May 9th earlier in the session. US gold futures eased 0.3% at 2,330.8. Following unexpectedly strong reports on the U.S. economy raising the possibility of interest rates staying high, shares retreated in Asia. Japan's Nikkei 225 index lost 1.2% to 38,646.11, and in Hong Kong, the Hang Seng fell 1.5% to 18,590.33, while the Shanghai Composite Index dropped 0.9% to 3,088.87. As of the time of the Cambodian market's closing, the futures for the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average in the U.S. edged 0.1% higher after having closed sharply lower on Thursday. This was Darshana Gochen with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 24th.